Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's take a walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. This ought to be a treat. I mean, I have seen a lot of other beer reviewers review uh, beers from Jackie O's and uh, I can't get my hands on them down here and, uh, and my buddy Dave sent this down to me. You already check out his, uh, he does beer reviews too, uh, Beer Sampling with Dave. Check him out. Uh, he's got a, a, a well-rounded sense of what good beers are. So. Uh, and he's up in the Cleveland area, and he can get a lot of the beers that's uh, done up there. And there are a lot of them that are done up there. And uh, there are a lot of good, tasty beers coming from that area. So, Dave, thanks again, brother, for, for sending them down to me. I do appreciate it, and I'm really looking forward to this one. I've heard a lot of good things about Jackie O's uh, Pub and Brewery. So, uh, let's get on with this one, guys. Uh, the commercial description on this. Uh, this is a ten and a half percenter, by the way. I don't have the IBUs here listed. It says here the haunting, hauntingly good brew in your hands is rife with dark complexities. Eleven malts were used to create deep flavors of coffee, chocolate, caramel, and molasses. That just sounds awesome, right there. Uh, a hint of bitterness and herbal character from carefully selected American hops help support the monolithic maltiness of dark apparition. A truly decadent brew that's intended to be poured into your favorite snifter and given time to warm up from its dark and cold resting place. Be aware when in the presence of dark apparition cause this ghost is a creeper. In other words, it's a sipper and not a chugger, guys. So uh, uh, you need to sip on this uh, accordingly. Uh, if you was to chug this down, you might find your fa yourself face down in the dirt. Uh, and you wouldn't want to. You wouldn't want to waste a great beer like this by chugging it down. You you can't appreciate the flavors. This is not a malt liquor or or a Budweiser or a Miller or a Coors Light. You you, you don't chug these kinds of beers. You want to savor them. You want to sip on them like a like a cognac or or a nice brandy or something like that. Uh, the uh, food pranks for this beer. Come on, tablet. You you can do it. Get it together now. Food pairings, it says, of course, it says stout, so it goes well for your chocolate dishes and all your stronger dishes. I mean, this may be a good one for after dinner, even. And this, and being a, a ten and a half percenter, this can be cellared for a long time. And I don't, I don't know if it has a, if their Jackie O is dating their stuff. Uh, I don't see any. Yeah, it does. It's got 2014 written right here on the side of the label, and basically on a stout this big. That's basically all we need to know. It's a 2014 edition. So, uh, date on the bottle, 10.5%, uh, an imperial stout. On the way it could be any better is to have bourbon barrel aging on it. So, just my opinion now, guys. So, uh, glassware pint, Becker Nautic Tumbler uh, uh, Snifter. I got the double glass today, guys. And according to this, it says it can be solid for a long, long time. And I would agree with that. Ten and a half percent, this is going to keep for a good 10, 15 years if you sell it correctly. I uh, don't think there's anything else we need to talk about. And with me trying to keep on with my little narrower reviews instead of these 20-minute versions where I just flap on and on and on. And I've got some good comments back on the, the guys that said, take take an hour if you want to and do an 18% beer. I'm not going to do that, guys. I do appreciate the support and, and everybody telling me the haters are going to hate and all that kind of stuff. And they are. But uh, I, I, 
I, I do feel that I ramble on sometimes, and I'm going to try to cut back on the rambling on and, and keep it more pertinent to the information we need to give out. And if it ends up being a 15 minute, or it, it is. But I'm going to try to be more aware of instead of just repeating myself over and over and over during the beer review. So thanks for all the support, and I have the best subscribers in the world over the last two months. I bet I've got 40 to 50 beers sent to me. So y'all are awesome, guys. You're freaking awesome. You're, you're more than freaking awesome. You're the best. So uh, I consider myself very lucky to have uh, subscribers that I do. So cheers to y'all, and Happy New Year in 2015, if I haven't said that to you already. Um, looking forward to a better year this year. Uh, maybe even the beer store will uh, will uh, finally appear. Uh, uh, I've been trying to get that off the ground for the last couple of years, and I had no success yet. Maybe it'll happen this year. Got my fingers crossed. We'll see. All right, let's get on with this one, guys. And don't want to be flapping to be just flapping. Stop flapping and start pouring. Dave, thanks again, brother, for sending down the beers. I do appreciate it, sir. Hopefully by the time you see this, you'll have had your package I sent in your little hands. Let's get down the center. What do you think? Let's do it. Very unique shaped bottle. Uh, not your typical 12 ounce shaped bottle. And with that aggressive pour, about a finger and a half of head. Looks really good in the glass. It, it is pitch black, guys. I'm not getting any light at all through the beer. So, very representative of uh, what a style should be, in my humble opinion. Let's get a nose on it. Mmm. Chocolate. Coffee. Caramel and toffee. I am getting some sweet molasses even in this. Maybe some hint of some dark fruit even. Some uh, figs or dates or raisins or even plums. A nice wintertime beer to sit by the fire and sip on. Uh, or even share. Share some of this with uh, your other half or your girlfriend or your best friend even. Mm, that smells wonderful, guys. Jackie O, I think this is the first one from Jackie O that I've had. Got a good nose on it. Let's put the lips to it. What do you think? Let's get it on. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Dave. Thank you, brother. Mm. That is so nice. The coffee and the bittersweet chocolate. Caramel roasted mom. Maybe a hint of some tobacco. Maybe a good one to fire up a seagull. What do you think? Hmm. I am such a fan of hoppy beers, whether they're pales or IPAs, and nice. Porters, imperial porters, regular porters, stouts, imperial stouts, and bourbon barrel aged, or even whiskey barrel or, or rye. I mean, barrel aged stouts are their top dog in my book. I really like them. Now, I, don't, I wouldn't want to drink two or three of them because you're going to be down in the dirt, face down. So, but I do like to finish up uh, the evening with a with a nice porter or a nice stout. It does. Uh, top off the evening to me and to have something nice and thick with a nice creamy mouth feel uh, and got that and got that uh, chocolate and coffee and, and all that stuff going on so very nice guys so it's right out of the fridge and like it says here let it warm up to room temperature to really appreciate a beer like this and let those flavors come out and, and, and aromas and, and come together because a lot of times when you pour it out of the fridge at 40 degrees it's um, not quite the beast that it can be or should be when it's up to room temperature between 55, 60, or even 70 degrees. So let's let it warm up, let her taste it, and I'll come right back. Hi right, guys, I'm back. Been sipping on this probably about 35, 40, 45 minutes. It is delicious. Uh, roasted malt, caramel, toffee, 
chocolate, coffee, hint of tobacco, some dark fruit. Uh, the only way this could be any better is to be barrel aged. Uh, yeah, for an unbarrel aged beer, it is pretty damn tasty, guys. And it's got the 2014 date right here on the label, not digitized on the bottle anywhere. It tells you the year it was produced, and for a 10.5% beer, that's uh, that's all we need. Uh, we don't need a month or a day. We just need a year on a beer of this magnitude and this style. So, uh, thumbs up to Jackie O's for that. Uh, uh, very easy to read on the label and a very delicious beer. For a ten and a half percent of the alcohol is very well hidden. It's a very well made beer. And, and they're out of Athens, Ohio. So, guys up in that area, you're pretty damn lucky to be able to get some of these great beers that uh, that Dave sent to me. Uh, I know y'all are enjoying some really tasty beers up there in that area. Let's do the final chug here. Wow. That's such a pleasant beer to drink. A very nice beer for a nice cold January night. That's when I'm having it uh, on a January night. I know I post these first things in the morning, but uh, I don't drink I don't drink beers in the morning. I, I have to go to work and uh, and do my thing. So uh, I'll review the beers uh, the night before and post them the next day. So uh, very tasty, very very tasty, guys. For me, this beer it, it, you know it's definitely an A beer, and I'm gonna give it to nine out of ten. It is very very tasty. Like I said, the only way it could be any better if it was barrel aged. So. Uh, uh, got all the information you need. Uh, got the year. Got the ABV. Got the taste. It's a winner. It's definitely worth picking up, guys. Uh, you guys, I don't know how far out they go out with the Jackie O's beers uh, uh, from Athens, Ohio, but if you can get your hands on it and you're into the Imperial Stouts, this is a damn nice, tasty one to pick up. So let's see what everybody else thinks. Let's go over to Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate says. 93 in their outstanding range. I think it's a tad better than that. I thought if I was putting a numeric rating on this, it would probably be a, uh, a 98, not between a 97 and a 99, somewhere in that area. Uh, an average out between 97 and 99, it's um, about a 98 is what I'm giving the guys. So very, very tasty. Definitely appreciative to Dave for sending this one down to me. I loved it, Dave. It was a pretty damn tasty guy. Over to Rate Beer. Rate beer says overall 99 and 90 in the style. I think it fits the style very well. And those are our average of numbers from all the guys that's, that's posted comments or reviews on this beer. And 99 overall, pretty impressive. Uh, I'd would, I would give it a 98, just like I said. Uh, between a 97 and a 99, that averages out to a 98. So we're pretty close on those numbers. So very impressive beer from the guys at Jackie O Pub and Brewery. So if you've had it, let me know what you think, guys. I loved it. Pretty damn tasty. I would definitely buy this beer again if I could get my hands on it around here. So let me know what you think, guys. And you know what the deal is. We're going to take a walk tomorrow and see what's in the fridge. So didn't get two tens in a row. Maybe we will next time. Come on back tomorrow. We'll go see what's in the fridge together. See you then.